Hey guys, welcome to the channel. In this video I'm going to be talking about if Windows 7 is still good in 2024. So I've opened this small article from Notebook Check where they talk about uh, daily driving Windows 7 on a laptop in 2024. So before uh, scrolling down and reading this article a bit, I'm just going to tell you that Windows 7 is outdated very much. It's not supported in terms of security updates anymore. It's been a very long time since Windows 7 received its last and final uh, security update. And security is something that is paramount and very important uh, when using uh, internet in 2024, especially because as time flies by and goes by, people find more and more exploits in Windows and in the web as well. So they have more chances to actually hack your computer. And because Windows 7 is not supported by security updates, you will not be safe and you will not have that very essential and important security update that will keep you safe. So in general, I would say that using Windows 7 in 2024 is not recommended at all, unless you're not using internet, which not many people I suspect will do. If you're not using internet for whatever reason, if your computer is completely offline, then I would say, yes, maybe you could use Windows 7. In case if you're not uh, cluttering this Windows 7 system with viruses, right? Because if you're going to, for example, use some software uh, that has viruses on Windows 7, you have a very high chance of uh, infecting your PC and your system and completely breaking it potentially and losing your valuable data. So just keep all of this in mind. And now let's scroll down. So we have a test system, a very weak kind of uh, laptop. So web browsing, no issues. Well, that's expected. The only thing that would change in web browsing is just like I said, is the actual security. So you can actually get hacked and I'm not really sure if Chrome or other browsers even support Windows uh, 7 anymore. So we have Chrome 109. And the latest version, I believe, is 200 plus, so it's very outdated. So then we have content creation in Krita and Evi Demux. Mostly good. These are not actually the applications that people might be using. For example, people use Photoshop, DaVinci Resolve, uh, some other video editing programs as well. I'm not really sure if they work on Windows 7 at all, so keep that in mind. So media playback, mostly good. Gaming, well, in terms of gaming, if you care about that, uh, I'm just going to say that most modern games, for example, especially the ones that came out in the last three years, maybe four or five years, may, they may not support this operating system anymore. So uh, some of the, I've actually seen some of the newest games, they actually have a system requirement, which is um, important that you have a Windows 10 or 11 system of a build that is like the newest available. So if you have a Windows 10 build that's old for some reason, you will not be able to even launch and play that game. And now let's uh, talk about Windows 7, right? It's just not going to be possible. If you're playing old games, you will be able to play them no problem. But if you want to play new games, especially online games, I would suspect that most of them will not work on Windows 7 anymore. And also, if you want to use Windows 7 in 2024, you actually will have to find a way to uh, find the actual ICO to be able to install it in the first place, because as you know, there's this official website on Microsoft that provides you with the actual download of Windows 10 and 11. And the, these are the only two systems that they provide to download. And Windows 7 is not provided for download anymore because it's the because it's reached the end of its life cycle long time ago, years ago. So they do not provide the download for it anymore. So the only way to get this one is going to be uh, just third party internet, looking for a link, downloading a torrent, um, just searching for it by yourself. So that's going to be uh, kind of hard for some people that are not really experienced in uh, using the personal computer and uh, internet in general. So you will need to use Rufus, this uh, tool that allows you to actually burn the ICO file with Windows onto your thumb drive. And uh, yeah, that's third party. So if you like to do that, if you're ready for that, then by all means, go ahead. 
And that's everything I have for you today, guys. Thank you for watching if this helped. Leave a comment about which system you're using in 2024. Press the like button and I will see you very soon.